Here we glimpse the place where Frederick Remington created his artistic visions of the American West. The studio, at his home in New Rochelle, New York, provided a space where he could create, surrounded by Western artifacts for inspiration. This installation recreates that studio using authentic objects collected by the artist, his sketches, and a few reproduced items. In many ways, the artist's studio served as a mirror for his personality. His studio was a pure manifestation of Mr. Remington and that unique art persona that he had established early in his creative life, a bold, adventurous, and exotic character whose adherence to the cult of masculinity was unswervingly, almost monomaniacally forged. Remington's sanctuary from the ordinary exuded the aura of a harsh and sun-baked romantic frontier, an exotic, distant world of fatal encounters and grim life and death struggles. His collection of objects was picturesquely presented to plant the artist and his visitors firmly in the west of Remington's imagination. Frederick Remington vividly portrayed the human drama of the American West in paintings, sculpture, and writing. Born in Canton, New York, October 4, 1861, he studied at the Yale College School of the Fine Arts and later briefly at the Art Students League. He first visited the West in 1881. A short, unsuccessful period owning a Kansas sheep ranch and other nearby businesses provided his only experience living in the region. Determined to try a career as an artist reporter, Remington made many Western trips from New York City and then from his New Rochelle home. He found success illustrating books and magazines, but wanting to be more than an illustrator, Remington began creating fine arts easel paintings as well as bronze sculptures. His early paintings featured a precise use of line. Later, his style had impressionistic characteristics, and he received critical acclaim for his tonal paintings of night scenes. He died in Ridgefield, Connecticut, December 26, 1909.